Hello everyone, I'm Chan from Talent Battle. Welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to check the previous year TCS Ninja Foundation Verbal Ability questions. As you know, TCS is planning to hire 2023 batch students for both Ninja and digital roles. This video will help you to prepare for it. Also, we have started our live training for TCS Integrated Test Pattern, which is also known as ITP, in which we will cover previous year questions of foundation section for numerical, verbal, and reasoning ability, and also the advanced sections, which contains quantitative reasoning ability and the coding part. Also, join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page, and WhatsApp group. We constantly update placement preparation updates and off-campus updates on our pages. Links to all these handles are given in the description below. So before we do start, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notification about our videos. Join TCS Masterclass for structured preparation. Coupon code and link are in the description section. So let's start with the very first question. I hope you can just pause and try every question. Now, let's see this. Given direction, one part of a sentence below may contain an error. Okay, it may contain an error. Fine. Identify the part. If there is no error, choose the option called no error. Fine. Now, given statement, Mr. Mohapatra as well as his friends were able to escape from the burning cinema hall. I guess you have spotted an error, if any. If you say no error, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Why? Because there is an error in the sentence. And what is that error? Let us see. If I'm not wrong, most of you definitely check with the subject verb agreement. What is subject verb agreement? So whenever I have a singular subject, I need to have a singular verb only. And whenever we have a plural subject, so definitely we should go behind a plural verb. That is why basically he was or they were, etc., etc. All right. So he is a singular subject. Was is a singular verb. They is a plural subject. Were is a plural verb. So similarly here also, if I'm not wrong, what is my subject? Subject is the first part of the sentence. So in the first part, basically I have three people in minimum. Look, friends, let us take a minimum of two and Mohapatra is one. So a minimum of three people I have. So when I have three people, basically more than two is considered as a plural subject, if I'm not wrong. Right. So that is why you would have definitely gone with were is a correct helping verb that is used. But I'm sorry, you have mistaken. Why? Because here we have a terminology called as well as. If I'm not wrong, as well as is exactly like along with. Right. Or in addition to etc. etc. So we do have a condition to be considered over here. What is that? For example, let me give you a simple statement. He along with this along with his brothers dash the party. Now let me give you options. You tell me, is it attend the party or attends the party? Guys, come on, answer. He along with his brothers dash the party, attend or attends. Again, here we have a two prepositions. If you observe along is a preposition with is a preposition. So whenever we have two prepositions, they are called as a prepositional phrase together. And when we have a prepositional phrase, we always go with the main subject or the first subject and we just neglect simply this other subject. Right. Similarly, along with is exactly like as well as in addition to or together with. So all such words will always eliminate the second subject or consider only the main subject. So here the subject to be considered is only Mohapatra and Mohapatra is a singular subject. And that's where I need a singular helping verb, which is not were, which should be was. So yes, there is an error. And in which part of a sentence there is an error? That part is an option D. So here, I hope each and everything that's discussed here is clear, guys, because there are many things that you have to be noted, right? What are they? First is prepositional phrase. So whenever we have a proposal phrase, we only take the main subject or the first subject. We don't consider extra information. Basically, this his friends is an extra information. Why? Because my main focus is completely on this person called he. Similarly, there also my main focus on completely on Mohapatra. All right, everybody. So whenever we have words like 
along with together with in addition to and as well as we do consider only the main subject case right so this is called proportional phrase uh, rule you can say that i hope this is clear if i'm not wrong most of you would have definitely went with this as a right statement but i'm sorry that's a wrong statement because of the helping verb that's used all right everybody now let's move on to the next one okay let's answer this question the given direction says read the following passage and fill in the blanks by selecting the most appropriate option that says that this question is from a topic of fill in the blanks or sentence completion so given the question sailing is fun but it takes work and muscle to keep the sailboat moving one will have to constantly dash the weather and adjust the sails to turn the boat and in a required direction it also takes a lot of dash to raise the mast and sails before you start enjoying the freedom of exploring new places in your sailboat fine so we have to fill the blanks with the appropriate words now you tell me what can be the first blank we filled with one of these four options a b c d if i'm not wrong they are talking about something called they have to constantly dash the weather now you tell me what you can constantly talk about the weather when you are sailing basically now just look at the options we have search scrutinize check and scan now tell me if i'm not wrong search and scan are not the appropriate words to fill the blank why because we don't search for the weather right and by the way we don't scan the weather also right so search and scan are not the appropriate as they said the most appropriate i'm saying that they are not appropriate words that can fill the blank so in between b and c all right in between scrutinize and check you tell me which could fit the blank is the most appropriate to basically check is nothing but checking uh, the weather but whereas scrutinize is check it very carefully or examine it very carefully examine it very carefully now you tell me guys which is most appropriate in between these two look both can fit the blank basically because we do basically check the weather or we do basically scrutinize the weather but here as they are sailing you need to scrutinize very carefully in order to make sure that you are going along with the direction and all right so here the most appropriate word in between these two is scrutinize that says b must be there in the very first blank so if you observe the options there is only the first blank with b as an option is option b and that says that must be the answer if i'm not wrong so let us check the second blank also right it also takes la a lot of dash a lot of what basically a lot of effort or a lot of attempt here that can fit and what about strive strive is basically nothing but an effort or an attempt so it means the same so you can go for any of these three options if i'm not wrong right everybody and what about the fourth one which is endeavor endeavor also the same so basically the second blank can fit with any of the four options called attempt effort strive and endeavor because all means the same which is an effort or an attempt but the very first blank is very important so we don't basically just scan or search but we basically check or scrutinize but in between these two as they are talking about sailing and uh, like moving in the di required direction all they may have to scrutinize it very carefully right basically scrutinize it so that says b must be definitely there in the first blank and any of the four can be there in the second blank and that says option b can fit for sure as the correct option everybody right yes i hope you completely understood the point yes now moving on to the next one okay given here the direction says for the four sentences sentence 1 and 4 paragraph below sentences 1 and 4 are given fine so they are already given from the options of pqr so where we have three options called pqr choose the most appropriate sentences for sentence 2 and 3 that means everybody we can pick only two out of three so one needs to be neglected so what are the most appropriate two of these three sentences you can pick up and that two after picking up you have to arrange them accordingly so that's what the arrangement is of the options pq rp or rq pr etc etc all right now let's try to understand the given passage if i'm not wrong the passage is talking about ginger because directly given ginger is a commonly consumed aromatic spice which contains a bioactive compound called gingerol now look at the statement 2 and statement 3 what can be filled with basically they are talking about 
one thing called ginger and is also commonly called as gingerol now here i can continue basically the statement to with either talking about the ginger or the gingerol yes or no everybody people i hope you completely understood because i can talk about the ginger part or i can talk about the gingerol part because it's already been introduced now if you carefully look at the statements speak you are ginger belongs to some family which includes something and gingerol has strong something something so both are actually can be used if i'm not wrong in statement 2 and also not only those two it uh, it basically can also refer ginger and also gingerol it is it is known to calm uh, nausea and enhance the immune system so i don't know what exactly can be used in the very first statement now right which is called statement 2 right but if you observe statement 4 there is a, a sentence called but some people complain of bloating and heartburn when they consume the high dose of ginger that says everybody there is a complaint that's been made after the usage and that to high dose after usage of high dose so when there is a complaint there must be something with respect to the usage before so what usage has been discussed in one of these three options if i'm not wrong p everybody because it is known to calm nausea and enhance the immune system how would they have known that it can calm these two aspects because after the usage only they'll get to know right exactly so that says definitely p must be there and after some people used in higher doses rather than using a normal dose they have started complaining about the other two side effects so this is an effect basically and this is a side effect that one gets after the using the high dosage and that says p and s4 are a perfect link that can be used a perfect link so before s4 there should be definitely the only possibility of p by because in other q and r they are not talking about any usage they are just talking about the ginger and gingerol what exactly they are right so if you observe ginger belongs they are not talking about any usage similarly gingerol has something they are not talking about any usage so that says ps4 must be definitely a link and p s4 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 and s4 that says only option d fits the most appropriate option and with respect to statement 2 now you can pick the one with p that is r so gingerol has strong anti inflammatory and anti oxidative effect so that says we can we are now going to discuss about gingerol and then we are going to go with the it is known to come right everybody so that says r p is a perfect link because of p s4 we got a clue of right so that's how you basically solve the questions on para jumble so these are called para jumbles concept all right rearrangement of the sentence is given in a meaningful order that's what we have to do in the para jumbles part i hope you have clearly understood this kind of questions and how to solve everybody so basically we have to find the links and go according to the options all right now moving on to the next one oh a reading comprehension question i think most of you would feel answering a reading comprehension question is a bit difficult why because the way you actually answer is complicated i'll tell you look basically when i displayed the question you would have directly start reading from the first till the last this is what the first thing you would have done and then when to answer the questions but this way of solving will definitely take some time because you have to read from the first and understand and then you you can answer the question next but i will tell you a brilliant technique to answer the reading comprehension question in a very less time and that too when you have only one or two questions is it required to understand the entire passage i think so no mostly but let us see how to answer the questions all right so here we have a method called hunting approach hunting approach what is this hunting approach the term itself is hunting so we do hunt for the words in the passage whatever that were asked in the question right so let's see the approach look what i'll do is firstly i don't read the paragraph as said but i'll only look for a key words that can be memorized from the question so i i'll just look at the question and say okay royal bengal tigers run fast climb trees this is the only one i'll just look for the words in the paragraph now so i'll read the question once why it is surprising that royal bengal tigers can run fast and climb trees that's that's what the words i'm looking for and i don't read it i just go through them i just scan the words 
So if you just try to scan the words, I think you'd have found out here itself called 60 kilometers per hour and also climb trees. Right, everybody? So enough people tell me, I hope you'd have went till here, Max. But is there any requirement of reading the second paragraph? No, because there is no second question at all. I displayed only one question and the companies will do the same. They'll just go for one question or a two at times. So at that point of time, there is no requirement to read everything. So here we are saying a lot of time by not reading the other paragraphs or not understanding the other paragraphs, right? Now I'll just go through the before statement, whatever is given. So why it is surprising that we read them. The typical male weighs about 300 kilograms and is about eight to 10 feet tall. Whereas the female weighs 180 kilograms and is eight to 10 feet in height. Despite its heavy weight, this tiger can run at a speed of 60 km per hour and also climb trees for its praise when necessary. So now everybody, if I'm not wrong, I got my answer. Look, why we were surprised? Because despite is the key word here, which talks about the surprise part. Okay, let me just give you an example here. Despite he got hurt, he started running. Now, so what is the meaning of this? Even though he got hurt, he did not care about it and he started running. So that's a surprising statement. Similarly here also, despite its heavy body, this tiger can run at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and also climb trees. So I got my answer. What is that? Is it because of majestic? No. Is it because of 200 to 300 grams? Yes, it talks about the weight, right? Because despite of its heavy weight. So that is nothing but 200 to 300 is a heavy weight. Be because they live in a secluded mangroves is not mentioned and because they were eight feet tall now this is their height and all but it is not despite the despite is all about the weight part so that says only option b can be the correct answer to this question guys i hope you all loved this hunter approach if i'm not wrong right so basically hunter approach can give you answers for a direct questions for example if there's an indirect question like what is the meaning of the paragraph or what is the theme of the paragraph or the passage then you have to read but whenever we have some direct questions, which can be found out from the given paragraph, you can use this under approach, which is a very, very good technique to answer the questions. Please. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this one. Right now, let us move on to one more. The direction says some sentences are missing from the text. Choose from the list A to C the most appropriate sentence for each gap one to two in the text. Fine. So out of three, again, I have to select two. There is one extra sentence that you need not to use. So this is not a parajumble. This is again a, a sentence completion in form of sentences. A sentence completion, right? So where we have to use sentences to complete the sentence, right? Now let's look at the question. An eclipse takes place when a heavenly body such as the moon or the earth moves into the shadow of the other. Dash, a solar eclipse occurs when there is a shadow on Earth by partially or fully blocking the sunlight. Dash, the maximum number of solar eclipses that can occur in a year is five. All right. Now I have three, whereas I have to pick up only two. So let's try to look at the options and select the appropriate sentences that can fit in the blank one and blank two. Now, can I go with A as the first blank? It is believed that local animals sleep during an eclipse. Fine. It may be a fact, but is it required in the sentences? Now, if I'm not wrong, everywhere at the start of a sentence, an eclipse, a solar eclipse, the maximum number of eclipses. Now, is it any requirement to talk about the local animals sleeping during eclipse? No, might not be. I'm just keeping this on hold. Right? Now, there are two types of eclipses on Earth, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. Fine, this is sounding like a good fit in the blanks. But where B can be used, I want to check. And every year, at least two solar eclipses occur somewhere on Earth. Yeah, I have got the clue. What is it? If I'm not wrong, in the last part of a sentence, given the maximum number of solar eclipses. And now they are talking about the relative topic or relative point, which was discussed in the previous one. That is the least number, at least, at least two solar eclipses occur somewhere on Earth and the maximum are five. That says C must be definitely in the second blank. So with C, there are only two options. So option A and B, B are gone. But you tell me, is it B or A in the first blank? As discussed, is it A is, is most appropriate? Do you think so? I don't think so. Why? Because here they are talking about an eclipse. And by the way, they have just discussed about an eclipse. But how many types of eclipse are there? Uh, is what given in the statement B. That says there are two types of eclipses. 
a solar and a lunar now they are describing about the solar eclipse all right so introduction and the description so that says bc is a perfect options that fits in blank and uh, option c contains it all right everybody now let's move on to one last okay which one of the following sentences uses informal language fine so this question is from a topic called formal informal language and i want to discuss a few points because most of you might not be aware of this so whenever you are writing a letter to your friends and family so basically that can be considered as a informal letter or an informal uh, uh, script but when you are writing to your higher officials or uh, teachers or any other you know in a formal manner so that comes into a formal script so when you write when you write basically some script when it comes to your essay writing test or email writing test right in the written test of aptitude they basically check so many aspects so at times you are asked to write a formal letter and at times you are asked to write an informal letter so here when it comes to this aspect called formal informal language i want to discuss some so the very first point whenever you want to write a formal letter or a formal script you have to eliminate usage of words some words what are they the very first word is colloquialisms colloquialisms what are colloquialisms colloquialisms are nothing but the slang right for example you will use sometimes i'm gonna take the pen or you might say you wanna right you wanna get it come and take it and then you might use some words like uh, let us say what's up right so all these are a slang which are nothing but the colloquialisms where you have to eliminate the usage and also the contractions the main aspect what are contractions the term itself says contract so these are the short forms of general phrases that are i am is a phrase i am is a phrase a group of words but then you have a way of writing called in this way i am which is a contraction of i am right similarly isn't it is not we basically write isn't right and then aren't shouldn't all these are called contractions which we have to eliminate so no usage do not use right everybody so what not to use these are not to use and the last but not the least is the first person pronouns first person pronouns this is very very important what are first person pronouns i and we are the very first person pronouns so these are the three points you have to not use whenever you are writing something informal and that's what we will keep on checking in this of four options also right now first of all let us look at for some like contractions informal sentences one of them so it's is there i is there so definitely this must be informal but let us check now do we have any contractions colloquialisms and first person pronouns in the other now some of you might think okay the first person the first option is like a sounding rude rahul wants to open the window any objections here it might sound rude but doesn't mean it is an informal right so they are they haven't used any informal language words in option a c d so where in option b we have both contraction also the first person and that's why definitely it's my informal language guys all right everybody so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching the video till the end if you have liked the video don't forget to press the like button also join our social media handles like telegram group instagram page and whatsapp group links to all these handles are given in the description below